Welcome to EMTPrep.com. This is the Cardiac Arrest Management AED skill. Before we get started, I would like to take a moment to discuss some of the key points to ensure your success. First, the candidate should take or verbalize appropriate isolation precautions. Determine if the scene or situation is safe. Attempt to question any bystanders about the events and check the patient's responsiveness. Assess patient for signs of breathing. Observe the patient and determine the absence of breathing or abnormal breathing. For example, gasping or agonal respirations. Checks a carotid pulse for no more than 10 seconds and immediately begins chest compressions with adequate depth and rate and allow for chest to recoil completely. Request additional EMS response and performs two minutes of high quality one rescuer adult CPR with adequate depth and rate, correct compression to ventilation ratio, and allows the chest to recoil completely. Adequate volumes of each breath Minimal interruptions of less than 10 seconds throughout the event. The candidate must turn on the power to the AED and follow the prompts and correctly attaches the AED to the patient. Stop CPR and ensure all individuals are clear of the patient during rhythm analysis. And ensure that all individuals are clear of the patient prior to delivering an AED shock. Immediately directs rescuers to resume chest compressions. Now let's watch in real time as the candidate performs the cardiac arrest management AED skill. Welcome to the AED cardiac arrest management practical assessment. Here we will evaluate your ability to properly assess, treat, and manage a patient experiencing cardiac arrest. You arrive on scene alone with no bystanders present. You will have 10 minutes to complete this skill once we begin. I may have to clarify treatments with you during the assessment as they arise. You may take this time to familiarize yourself with the equipment before you. You arrive on scene to a neighbor's house and you find an elderly male lying on the floor. There are no bystanders present and you may begin when you're ready. BSI, is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. Okay, do I have anybody around that can tell me what's going on with this patient? There's nobody else around. All right, so first I'll assess level of consciousness. Sir, sir, The patient sir. is unresponsive. Unresponsive, all right. Uh, I'll check for a pulse and is he check and see if he's breathing. The patient is not breathing and the patient is pulseless. All right, so I'm gonna initiate CPR and I'm gonna call for uh, EMS backup. I'm going to assure that I'm doing uh, the proper rate of CPR, that I have proper depth, and that I'm also allowing the chest to recoil. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 3, 4, 5, 6, Eight, twenty-nine, thirty. All right, that's five cycles. All right, so I'll have you continue CPR. 
while my partner is continuing CPR, I will turn on my AED. I will attach the pads to the patient. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing lights. Sure that I've got everything in there. Everything's hooked up correctly. Analyzing heart rhythm. So clear the patient. Do not touch the patient. I'm clear. You're clear. Shock advised. Continue CPR, please. Charging. AED is charging clear up. Clear of patient. All right. AED is properly charged. Deliver shock now. You're clear. I'm clear. Now. Shocking. Shock delivered. Continue CPR. Paused. If needed, begin CPR. So we'll continue CPR. We'll do another cycle of CPR, uh, two minutes or five cycles of CPR, uh, assuring adequate uh, rate, adequate depth, and uh, chest recoil, uh, and then reassess whether we need to shock again, reanalyze. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, nope, that would be it. Okay. <laughs>